Hi Taurus, welcome to my channel. My name is Kem. Today, Taurus, you guys got Hummingbird Spirit be here now, number 34, making a seven. I feel like there's something important going on right now for you guys. Uh, and I don't know what it is. It could be in love or it could be in career. It could just be something like you're doing personal, like a personal achievement or, you know, you know, just something that you're doing for yourself. But there is something really important that you're doing or that you should be doing. And I feel like this is an important time for you. So don't slack off at this time if you are if you're going for something go for it 100 percent um whether it be a person whether it be a job whether it be like anything right like let's just say you want to do something 10 days in a row and you're trying to make like some sort of habit like keep doing it right like that's what's important right now um again they say to create a habit you have to just do it over and over and over again right so what i'm getting with this source is like it's an important time for you and whatever it is that you wish to achieve you know, the energy right now is accompanying you right like it's going with you so if you do the work the energy is following you right so let's just say you want to i don't know whatever it is that you want to do the energy is for you right so just keep working at it that's what i'm getting taurus let's pull cards So Taurus, I feel like you know right now that you have to be making moves, right? Like with the hangman and wisdom, this is you knowing, again, this isn't right now energy. Right now is like a pivotal energy for you. And what I'm getting with this is like, it it could have to do with a choice or a decision between two people. But what I'm getting with this is that I think there are two choices and one of them is wrong and one of them is right. Not wrong, but one of them is the better option for you right but you have to be careful because i feel like the devil is trying to confuse you like i i really feel like that because there's two of like everything in this read and one's upright and one's in reverse right so with the devil attached it's like this won't lead you to happiness it won't lead you to content like you won't be content with this choice and then in reality you will be right it's like choose this person not that person like one of them is right and one of them is definitely wrong again not right or wrong necessarily but there is a better option for you or one will lead you back onto the karmic wheel and one will lead you off the karmic wheel right so that's kind of like what this reading feels like but at the same time you have to be very sure <laughs> um, of what you're doing right now because i feel like with judgment you are with judgment you are with judgment and the intuition cards you are but it's just freaking me out a little bit that there's two of every card here and one's upright ten of pentacles upright ten of pentacles reverse right like the three of wands upright the three of wands in reverse right so i feel like again right now it's like a decision of where you're gonna be like where you're going do you know what i'm saying like are you gonna head on back onto the loop or are you gonna be moving in a new direction and that's what i'm getting with this read and the energy is right now the decision and the choice is right now so you have to be careful um i think it's actually a really positive thing because i feel like you can you can see through the devil right even though i feel like this is what i'm getting with the devil the devil is going to try to trick you in the sense that it's going to try to tell you that i feel like it's the easier route when i when i think of the devil i think of the easier route or the route that is more less obscure right so the journey card came out right underneath it right the journey has its light and its dark right but that doesn't mean that the dark is bad and that doesn't mean that the light is bad it just is what it is there's always a balance there's always a duality to every cycle in life right and i feel like right now you have a decision between maybe the harder choice or the easier choice right maybe something that seems a little bit obscure but at the end of the day, it would make it your life a lot more easy, right? And, and if we're going in that direction of like obscurity versus being clear, right? Or some a path that's like foggy, right? Because the devil creates a haze, right? But a haze 
is just kind of like a fog. If you go over the clouds or you go over the fog, it's like a plane, right? When a plane goes over the clouds, then there's like clear skies, right? It's like when it's raining and shit, right? The plane goes over the rain. That's what you have to do right now. That's what I'm getting with this read. It's like there is two options. There are two choices, but that doesn't necessarily mean that you're not going to make the right one. You just have to be smart. And what I'm getting with this is that the choice is actually kind of obscure, meaning like I feel like the right choice is actually something that you might not be seeing right right now, right? Like how do I explain this? Again, it's like <laughs> sometimes like if you had to choose between the light and the dark path right i feel like everyone would be like go to the light path right but i feel like in this scenario it might be honestly like the dark path right like it might be like going this way and not that way right like in just in this terms of this read that's what i feel like the devil is doing to you right now like the devil is kind of saying like yeah go down the light path go down the easier path like 100 percent. that's the right way to go and i feel like that's wrong i feel like it's this way so <laughs> I know it's kind of weird, but that's what I'm getting with this read. It's like the devil is leaving you two paths to go down and one of them seems very easy and one of them seems a little bit harder. I think the one that's a little bit harder is the one that would get you off the loop. And I feel like the one that's very easy is the one that's going to lead you right back onto the loop, the karmic cycle, right? So if you're going to get off the karmic cycle, you have to go towards the more obscure option. So in this read, we're going to go towards the more obscure option. I feel like that's just the way to go in this read. It doesn't necessarily make too much sense, but like that's what I'm getting with this read because the devil's here and everything is like flipped upside down, right? So <laughs> and that's what I'm getting here. Um, yeah. So I feel like you have a choice, right, to go or to stay, right? Like this emperor has a choice, right? Again, to stay or to go right with the three of wands upright or the three runs in reverse like you stay or you go one's going to be victorious in one way is not right and that just it just is what it is right <laughs> but again it's a decision that has to be made now with the hangman in reverse and wisdom and they're telling you the divine is telling you that you have the wisdom to yeah it's crazy yeah and we have the six of wands in reverse this is some crazy shit yeah it's just <sighs> taurus i feel like the answer is to go down the path that seems a little bit more difficult and I feel like there's a lot of people in your ear too trying to help you. And I feel like that's not going to help you at this time. Like the only thing that can really help you at this time is you yourself, right? With the eight of wands in reverse and justice in reverse and judgment upright. Yeah, you have to listen to your intuition. You have to listen to your own intuition. You can't be asking other people for help because I feel like, again, this is like, remember those two paths that I was telling you about, right? You have two paths to go down, right? And one is the light and one is the dark. If anyone was like traveling, you would probably go down this path, right? Because it just seems a lot clearer. But I'm, like in this scenario, you see how the butterflies on this side? It's kind of like, you know, you see, you see like some murky ass water on the floor, right? And you see the, all the animals drinking from the murky water. And then you see a really clear, beautiful pond, right? But no one's drinking from that pond. Which one do you choose? You have to choose the one that the animals are drinking from because the animals know, <laughs> right? Like just because something looks so beautiful on the, like on, the out, like on the external, right? Like that pond looks super beautiful. It's clear. There's nothing on it. There's nothing moving. It's like perfect water. That's the one you want to go drink from. There's like a cloudy water on the other, like over here, but that's where the deer are drinking from. That's where like the flies are at. And you're just like, eh, I'm going to go with the clear water. No, that's exactly how this read is. It's like, this is the path. And it's interesting here because you see the butterfly going that way. And that's what I'm getting with this read. Like you have to go down the other, the, that's the way to go. <laughs> yeah. And you have to use your intuition. And I feel like whatever other people are telling you, this is you having to block it out. Like you cannot listen to other people in this choice because everyone is going to tell you to go this way right it's like again if a store it's it's again it's like this water scenario right if all the animals are drinking from the cloudy water you would have to drink from the you have to trust the animals right like the animals know right it's like when some disaster in a movie's happening you know those scary movies like the day after tomorrow you see all the birds leaving first the birds know what, what's up right like if i see birds flying if i see hundreds of birds flying let's say like left I'm going where the birds are going. I'm not gonna go in the uh, the opposite direction, right? I'm gonna follow the animals. The animals know what the f is up, right? Like that's literally how I feel like this read is. <laughs> so yeah, I feel like I made my point. Again, 
um with justice in reverse it's kind of reminding me of the ace of swords in reverse it's like everything right now is like topsy-turvy there's this fairy card where everything is kind of reversed i feel like that's what the devil does too right the devil just makes everything seem so freaking <laughs> yo taurus this is a crazy thing like you have to be careful so yeah what i'm getting with this is like we have this king and this queen of swords right and this could be one of your options right this could be one of your options and we have the union card in reverse with the king of swords the knight of swords in reverse and the five of wands so i don't know i feel like this is the path yeah and then and then you have this queen of wands here with the ten of cups and you have her coming out twice so I feel like these are the options right now. It's like between this king, this queen of wands, right? With the ten of cups over here. Or with this queen of swords. With the union in reverse. And honestly, what I'm getting with this read is to choose this person. The queen of swords upright. Because this path to me seems more colluded is that a word convoluted it seems more like messed up right we have the union in reverse we have the we have the block here we have like the knight of swords in reverse we have like the ace of swords in reverse so i feel like this path seems more difficult this path seems like there's a lot of blocks this would be the path that i feel like is very obscure right the path with like thorns and shit in the way or the water that's kind of murky this is the one that kind of seems like suspicious right and that's why you would be like instinctually i feel like you as a human being would just be like, I'm going to go the easier route, right? And that's what I feel like this is. <laughs> I feel like this is the easier route. It's like this gleaming, shiny water, this ten of cups, right? Like this is it. And the queen of wands comes out twice. But what's interesting about this, yeah, and it's like the king of cups, like someone who really wants your heart, someone who like wants to protect you, someone who's like so invested in this love. And with this, with I mean, again, I'm getting, to be honest, I'm getting to like, like this is the actual true pair. The king and the queen of swords like over here but again i feel like a lot of you guys are like well what about this person so i feel like you're making a choice between two people and i feel like again one of them it's not an easy choice it's not an easy choice because everything is not as it what it seems i would go with this way i'm not gonna go by signs because i feel like the signs don't mean shit right now to be honest like again we have um air signs out which could be um libra gemini aquarius and then we have this queen of wands out this queen of wands could be an aries leo sag we have the king of cubs out do you know what i'm saying like i don't think the sign matters i just think like this sign this seems like if i were if i was a person i would go towards the ten of cups right i would go towards this because this is what everybody wants right everybody wants to end here in the ten of cups but if we're going by the way that this reading is and the way that you're not supposed to go towards the obvious choice you're supposed to go the other way if we're going by like the water example and like if all the animals are drinking from that water and nothing is on the other side which one would you bathe in or which one would you drink from you drink from the one the animals are drinking from because you can trust the animals right and that's what i'm getting with this it's like this is actually the true pair but this is the path that's very fucked up this is the path that seems like you know like uh, there's a block here right like this there's a block here don't go this way but this is the actual true path and that's what the devil's doing right now the devil is making everything confusing like i'm gonna be straight up we have like the ten of pentacles here too so i feel like yeah that this this path seems a lot less convenient this path seems a lot more obscure this is the devil messing with you and with the sage in reverse again the sage is someone who knows shit from experience and has a lot of wisdom and knowledge again it's like it's like if you <laughs> it's like if you go down this path right and it's like it's like you're someone who studies the sun but you don't study the moon right so you don't have any knowledge of like traveling in the dark but you know you know a lot about traveling in the day right but like the signs are telling you to go at night right um have you ever seen 10,000 bc in 10,000 bc they travel like around in circles and circles and circles because they can't they can't maneuver the desert like they can't pick out which way they're going they end up going in circles like for a couple of days and then they're like you know what we have to figure it out and someone figures it out they're like we have to travel by guidance of the moon we have to travel in dark we can't be traveling in the daytime because we have nothing to guide us but at least in the night we have the stars and we have the moon to guide us that's kind of what this is it's like 
again, it's going to take you maybe out of your element. You're not going to feel good, comfortable, right? Like you're not meant to feel comfortable in the, this direction. That's what I'm getting. Like this direction is not meant to make you feel comfortable, but I think this is the true path. And even though there seems to be a lot of blockages here, this is the right way. What's interesting though is like, I think again, there's a lot of communication from others and that's what you need to stop right now because you have to think for yourself. And what you have to think right now is like, you have to go towards the right path. And with judgment and intuition, you have to, again, this is very confusing. <laughs> I feel like you guys got this, but again, it's just, it's like, again, I feel like the devil is really making everything seem like there's two. And it's like, which one do you choose? Even here, there's like two sticks here. It's like, which one are you gonna go towards? Honestly, they're gonna play with what you know and what you don't know though, right? So they're gonna, I feel like the path is going to make you feel uncomfortable, right? Like the sage is someone who's very comfortable in their element. There's someone who knows a lot of shit. And I feel like this, the, the right way is the path that you might feel more uncomfortable in. Like you have less knowledge of, but it's the right path. Taurus, I hope this made sense. <laughs> I don't know how else to explain it, but that's what I'm getting right now. It's like either on back on the wheel or off the wheel, <laughs> right? Like this is the shiny coin that they want you to grab. And this one that seems like it has a lot of blockages is I think the right path. I mean, that's what I'm getting with this read. Let's pull some advice. Yeah, do you remember do you remember in a bedazzled movie? Remember in bedazzled when um he's in jail and he's like talking to God, but he doesn't know he's talking to God, and God's like, Well, the devil's gonna make you feel like you have no option, right? So if you've seen Bedazzled, you know that he has to make a choice, right? He has to choose between like he has to either make another wish or like go to hell, right? And what's the answer? The answer was neither of those, none of the above. He actually just wishes like Allison has a good life. He's like, yeah, I don't want to wish to be with her anymore. I don't want to go to hell either. I'm just going to put my final wish to be like, I hope she has a happy life. And what ends up happening? He breaks like the, the contract with the devil. Do you know what I'm saying? And that was what God was warning him. He's like, the devil is going to try to confuse you. I'm going to put, I have to watch that scene again because that I feel like is relevant to this reading. I don't know, this shit's crazy. Anyway, with Lala, the same spoken words, every word I say becomes a prayer. I am the author of my own story. Yeah, I feel like they're telling you, like, they're trying to guide you. This is like that fucking movie, yeah, in Bedazzled, right? Like, he goes to jail, and he's like, wow, I'm so inconvenienced, I'm going to jail, but God's actually in the jail, <laughs> right? And God has a conversation with him, and I think that helps him a lot figure out what he's supposed to do, right? And that's what I feel like this is. Like, this is the pause right now. Again, you're not really going to get a pause, but if there was ever a pause, it's right now, and I feel like this it's i think lala is trying to help you the same spoken words every word i say becomes a prayer so that's what you have to do you just have to ask for help i feel like just as much as there is like this energy trying to like bring you down there is this energy of the divine trying to bring you in the right direction what's interesting yo the shooting's sick you see how there's trees like in this background and like look at the double card isn't that crazy <laughs> I'm done with this read. I'm like spooked out. Like to be honest, I'm very spooked because I honestly feel like I never felt more of like this presence trying to be so confusing. And now I can, now I kind of understand the, this person, like this game, right? The game, and especially with the water example, right? Like the water, like the example of the water, how one of them looks so beautiful and clear and that's the one that you obviously want to go to but when the animals are on the other side you understand like that's there's something wrong like why are all the animals in the murky water and not in that water right like it makes no sense right so like that's how this is it like it doesn't necessarily make sense but you just have to trust the animals right or trust like again in this scenario the butterfly is going that way so you just, like go that way <laughs> i don't know with lila though you are the author of your own story. You can make any choice you want to make. I feel like you you will make the right choice if you just trust yourself and trust your own intuition, trust whatever it is that you've learned. The devil's going to try to play on all the shit you've learned and be like, well, you don't really know shit. You do know a lot. You starting off with the wisdom card. Don't like play yourself and say like, oh, I don't know anything. You know a lot of shit. You've come very far and that's what the devil's trying to like put you, make you feel like the stage in reverse, make you try to feel like you don't know shit. You know a lot. You've come very far. You're at the end of the cycle. They're they're trying to make you feel like, you know, you might you might go around this loop again. I feel like for a lot of you, you won't, but it's a hard, 
it's not a hard decision unless like you don't trust yourself and would be here now the seven the seven is again the divine the divine's with you right they're trying to i feel like lala is just coming out to say that they're here right like just how this person's here so is the divine so you don't like i feel like this squashes this every single time so let's just squash it right now so yeah guys i love you <laughs> i hope that this helps and i see you guys next time good luck guys